Good afternoon, um, everyone. Uh, thank you for attending this webinar. Um, my name is Emanuel Riva. I'm the Digital Marketing Manager of the company Eclinear. Um, the topic is uh, definitely interesting and uh, probably there is uh, some sensitivity about this type of uh, topic considering the number of uh, participants. Um, now the CEO of the company, Luigi Montanelli, um, we will, will introduce this uh, webinar through a video that we, uh, we have realized. At the end of the webinar, at the end of this video, of this video uh, we give the word to the engineer Corrado Maggi that is going to present the, uh, the webinar. Um, just uh, a reminder for um, all the attendees, on the right side of the uh, chat, of the screen, there is a chat where you can leave all, uh, where you can write all the questions. And after that, we are going to answer um, to almost all of them at the end of the speech of uh, Mr. Engineer Corrado Maggi. So I will uh, start the video now. Hello to, Hello to everyone, everyone and welcome, and welcome to Clinera. I'm Luigi Montanelli, I'm the CEO of the company. Today we would like to introduce the new Eco Atex Cages. Our business developer, engineer Corrado Maggi, will explain some important topics about our new technology. Enjoy the webinar. Okay, now I will uh, leave the word to, uh, to Corrado Maggi. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, good morning, depending from uh, uh, the time region where you are connected. Uh, this webinar will last about half an hour with a presentation, and then later we will have about 15 minutes uh, uh, for, uh, for the answers, for questions and answers. So I will share the screen, my screen. So I beg you wait for a moment uh, until this could be uh, done. And uh, so here we are. Thank you for this. So we call this uh, specific anti-static treatment uh, eco -Atex. This is a product by uh, Clean Air why uh, Ecoatex is uh, concentrating on one problem, which is relating to explosions and fire in general in all industries, but particularly for dusting and filtering operations. And uh, we see that uh, by looking at dust and the science report, we have a recent overview about the status of these explosions uh, nowadays. What is uh, said to say is that uh, still uh, there is the dust uh, explosions and fire are a problem uh, even if a, a path towards information has been done this seems to be not completely uh, sufficient 20% uh, of explosions occur in dust collectors and they are relating uh, any kind of industry and material involved so not only wood for example in food which is expected but also in metal working, in automotive, power generation and mining. Seems that the dust explosions problem is a problem for a lot of industries. So, but for our webinar, we will focus in dust and fume collectors mostly. And by looking at the Pentagon uh, of uh, uh, explosion for dust and fire, and by looking at the five elements that should be present in order to have to emit an explosion. So the combustible dust, the dispersion or mixing of the dust, the confinement of the dust cloud and the oxidant, in most of the case oxygen, we will instead focus on the latest one, which is ignition, sourced on the sources of ignition of the combustible dust. This is carrying us in the domain of prevention. So we come in some way, a cortex comes before the explosion, before the incident has happened. In our journey towards the safer uh, cage, filter bag cage, 
we started from a Japanese study that uh, analyzed 153 accidents in industrial filtering in 2011. This study highlights the following, that the 70% of the initial costs were, were, uh, has been caused by isolated conductors or induction in electrical, uh, electrostatic discharges. So in an environment where friction and peeling and spraying is, is very often present, and uh, this charge forming was relating 90% of the case for power up and gas environment, and dust was present alone, or in vapor or in gas in 27% of the cases. So in most of the incident, there was a lack of measures of earthing, and uh, the incident were caused by sparks, single sparks, brush sparks, and in a few cases, uh, propagating sparks. What is important of this study is that it circumstantiates uh, well that uh, the sparks originate from the detachment of a filter fabric bag, insulin insulative, and a conductive uh, steel cage support. So by looking at what the legislator has imagined uh, over the time uh, in, to prevent or to, to, to determine the features that a device and part of a machine should have, according to the ATEX, uh, is the ATEX directive in Europe and the National Fire Protection Association in the US. So whenever we, we concentrate on product hazard due to fire and explosions and uh, to the requirement for health and safety of the people, of the goods, and even of the environment, because very often these fire and explosions are risky for a, a disaster, as a disaster for the environment. And uh, whenever we, 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 we know that, uh, whenever or whatever industry is involved in this kind of explosions, as you can see on the right image, this uh, could be really devastating. So the ATEX directive is uh, in some way categorizing the risk by exposure to atmosphere in uh, frequency and relevancy in gas and chemical plants and industrial cleaning plants. And uh, whenever we can consider a cage as a component of a filter machine or an equipment of a filter machine, and we are looking for category two and special category three. So for an environment where explosive atmosphere is unlikely to occur like the zone 22. Anyhow, the filter machine, the filter cage is an essential part of a filter machine, like it is a filter bag. So, so we can apply to the perspective for a filter cage. And Filter cage and filter bags are uh, like the Nemo and the Anemones. They are both symbiont of what is called in nature cooperative model. This is a, a special bond in between the cage, which are representing the exoskeleton, the rigid support of the filter bag, which is instead the skin and the filtering mean of our uh, solution, of our uh, symbionts. Of course, they offer both mutual protection and they normally do not exchange attributes one with the other. But this is not happening always, and it has not happened uh, in, the, in, in this special uh, attributes uh, and in this special relationship between the filter bag fabric and the filter cages. Why? Because if we look at the four different solutions where we can accompany one cage with one filter bag, we can have a traditional steel cage which is conductive with an insulative filter bag. And that's the first case. This comes to be not a good solution because uh, that's the reason why anti-static filter bag is born. Because the, the charge retained into the insulative filter bag could be discharged with a high potential differential and with big sparks that is able to emit a cloud of dust in the filter machine. 
So in position number two, we have the filter bag makers already partially or almost solved this problem by providing uh, one um, uh, filter bag, which is instead a little conductive, so stealing in some way this attribute to the uh, filter bag cage. Uh, this is uh, uh, enough to avoid the most of the sparks, but not all the sparks, uh, as we can see here, because we have, for example, contact in between two uh, conductive parts, which are the steel cage and the steel plate, where still we can have uh, origination in detachment or in vibration of some sparks. Best solution seems to be uh, to have both one uh, antistatic uh, filter bag and an antistatic uh, cage that could slowly uh, discharge the any present any charges present to the grounded plate. Uh, normally, the cages are not grounded, each one. So, in this way, we are able to decrease the difference of potential, which is normally the cause of the ignition. But what is most interesting for us is also that when we are uh, when we must do refitting of the cages in a plant because we have maintenance issues, we can always introduce one eco attest cage, even in the presence of a not antistatic filter. This is anyhow bettering the situation uh, and uh, by decreasing the potential forming of the sparks and by slowly uh, dissipating them to the hurt. So actually we can analyze this uh, symbiont uh, combinations in four area where we have free safer area ideally the most safer with antistatic filter and antistatic cage and we can find a new paradigm of cages uh, that are more and safer that works of course together with antistatic filter for a less uh, dangerous environment and a more safer electrical zone so, but if we look at the, the meaning of antistatic and static dissipative, what is this uh, meaning? By scaling up from conductive metals, the resistivity, superficial resistivity in square on, we pass from 10 elevated minus 4 for metals to the neat polymer full insulative at 1014. Now, with the the best solution is for dissipating and retaining less charges is to stay in between 10 to 6 to 10 to 12 maximums by following a dissipative uh, uh, behavior from 10 to 6 to 10 to 10. That's why we have choose our resistivity class for eco attacks to be according uh, this scale in the best position to ensure 10 elevated and 9 ohm square, so coming close to the border uh, of SD static dissipative and antistatic category, so retaining less charges and dissipating slowly to the herd. Of course, this is because we consider also that uh, during the cycle life of the product, the resistivity will decrease, so the character of conductivity will reach almost 10 elevated to 60, which is representing also DECRA indication for conductors. What is important to say is that the antistatic layer of eco attacks is normally much more homogeneous or respect to the not woven or woven antistatic filter bag. Uh, the net of conductive fiber instead, in fact, is not equally distributed or is equally distributed, but with some lack of representativity in the complete fabric tissue, in case, for example, of the woven fabric filter. So basically, we are in the dark blue area and uh, by changing over the time, depending on some factors, which are these factors. Factors are, for example, the life cycle. So what about the resistance to heat and temperature? And what about the time effect, the passing of the time? I give you some figures. So it impact uh, on resistivity is that at 150 degrees in certain plants where 
the filter machine is working at relatively high temperature. The surface resistivity will decrease immediately after a few hours of about 15%. And coming in the domain of 10 elevated sen or 10 elevated at 8, which is fully according to the prescriptions, for example, of the clock. So the time impact, of course, this is relating to many different parameters and is depending on the harvest conditions of the corrosive environment where we place the filter back cage. What we can say is that uh, due to the fact that the anti-static treatment is, is in some way tied to the anti-static layer thickness, the more the time is passing, the more we will lose the anti-static layers and the less will be the resistivity. It's up to the hand to come, uh, come finally at the conductivity, which is the same of uh, the new, the new to the raw steel material. And in this case, we will have no more layer against the potential corrosion protection. So in any case, it should be replaced. And in any case, we represent the normal conductor as it was and it has always been. You can see on the right. Uh, uh, how the resistivity is decreasing with the temperature and decreasing over the time. Uh, Ecoatex also protect against the chemicals. Uh, of course, this is just a qualitative analysis. And uh, there are a lot of parameters that could uh, alter this uh, quantitative analysis. For example, humidity, uh, just to, to tell you one. one. But uh, these are just uh, an indication of the fact that uh, the eco attack surface layer could resist to the most of the chemicals pollutant present in the environment, in the atmosphere of a filter machine, pretty good. And uh, as you can see, for almost the chemicals present, present that's a good, a good positioning for eco attack uh, uh, layer. We also can consider what is the behavior of eco uh, towards uh, uh, corrosion. So we fix, in this case, uh, humidity at a certain level, and uh, we analyzed uh, and we have made confrontation in saline chambers, basically of three different uh, samples, which are, have also different attitudes towards uh, uh, resistivity. eco which is anti-static, pre-galvanized wire, which is conductive, and an epoxy powder painted, which is insulative. What we discover is that on the right, by looking at the pictures, that eco does, does not uh, show any significant modification even after 1,200 hours, while the pre-galvanized start to manifest corrosions, white spots of corrosion of rust uh, in 150 hours. The problem relating epoxy painting is that it is not so consistent if it is scratch, and so scratches could start earlier a corrosion phenomenon. Nevertheless, the FICA space uh, of protection that is normally used in painting uh, operations. So there is another, let's say, more hidden aspect uh, about eco uh, that uh, induced to think that eco architects could even save money. I'm not only speaking of a relatively cheap treatment, that's important, but I'm speaking about uh, dust cake forming. You know, that we know that filter bags makers sometimes uh, look at that, the anti static filter also about energy proposed, uh, energy meaning. And so we have positioned the eco architects in the triboelectric scale together with cages and filter bags, the most of the filter bags materials used today. And, uh, and we have analyzed the distance in the triboelectric scale, which is directly, directly proportional to the entity of the charge that could be discharged. The far this distance, the more is potential could occur the forming of charges also by induction. So, in, in our case, 
we have a coatex is much more close to polyester, polypropylene, polymide, and PTFE, which are the materials that are normally used for making filter pack, more close than the normal steel, so less charge uh, induced by induction. And this means that probably the dust cake forming due to the cage charge will uh, cause some saving of energy, re reducing the cleaning operation. So less cleaning day cycle per day, for example. And note that the cleaning uh, in a filter machine means uh, forming uh, the dust, means mixing, which is one of the five elements of the explosion, dust explosion, pentagon. So if we avoid the mixing, we avoid also the dust cloud. If we avoid the dust cloud, we are again working towards a safer electrical zone because we cut over one of the fire elements which are necessary to need to, to have an explosion or a fire. There is another reason, uh, another cause of ignition uh, besides electrical uh, discharges, electrostatic discharges, which is uh, pretty well considered in the in the, the studies about explosions and fire, and is the flame. Flame could be a free flame or flash, flash fire. And the flame, what about the flame? What about the, the behavior of ecoatex towards the flame? So ecoatex uh, has some um, property, physical property, uh, that uh, a higher transfer rate, so what is called thermal runaway, is needed to activate uh, the dust with ecoatex because it has a lower value of thermal conducibility on respect to new, the, for example, the new stainless or to steel. And so this avoids overheating because the flame could arise in, in uh, overheating in the dust layer, for example. And there, as I said before, uh, ecoatics is well uh, considered to be working in an environment with more than 250 uh, Celsius degrees. So, how is EcoAtex product identified? By looking at the EcoAtex directive, uh, we know there are prescriptions. So, EcoAtex comes to be a CA marking with the EcoAt with the Atex marking, and this is labeled with a tag and uh, together with the category and class zone. Temperature indication for temperature class and use. It comes with a European conformity paper and a complete dossier of uh, mounting, use, maintenance, and instructions. And of course, depending whenever we are in category two or category three of the ecotex, the documents are available in the company or at our auditors. A tag is also fixed on the cage, is also giving us traceability information. So, Ecoatex is working not only for new plants, new filter machine, but Ecoatex could be used to for retrofitting, uh, so for maintenance operation substitution of any cage design. So it is fully customizable. And another thing which is interesting is also that Ecoatex is a green product. We say green according to ISO 14021, the voluntary norm for the labeling of a green product. But what is true, what is evident is that it, is, it has been made with a low carbon footprint process, at least on respect, for example, to galvanization, which is cataphoresis. And as we have seen in corrosion behavior, the ecoatex is lasting more than a galvanized cage. So it is reducing over the time the waste. Our standard solution for the anti-static treatment is an anti-static cage that we have called ecoatex. And actually is the only one CA mark cage present in the mark that is preventing initial services in the dust implant. We have also an extreme solution huh, for top, representing the top of safety, we have called the uh, Eco-Atex SS cage. 
is of course we can use eco attack treatment also for a stainless steel cage. So we will reinforce even the lasting of the cages over the time. Now, if we look and we try to summarize uh, the main eco attacks advantages, these are listed here. Is we said that it's anti-static, so we low charge retaining on surface. This permits the static dissipation of eventual charges when grounded, because it is in contact with the still hurted plate of the filter. This avoids the forming of any sparks, brush sparks. The rust, no rust. Rust is also combustible. And less overeating on respect to a fully conductive cage. There are lots of cage huh, in, in a filter, big filter machine. A good chemical resistance, uh, no stray electric. It's a green product. In between the contact of the cage and the steel plate, the friction is avoid the friction among two uh, conductors. It is uh, naturally grounded uh, to the whole plates. It uses less energy during the cleaning phase because of the triboelectric scale attributes, and it is customizable. Customizable. So, if we look at the risk, <clears throat> we can. Let's say, conclude in some way that uh, Ecoatex is minimizing the risk. Uh, so, by a strategy of loss prevention, the risk of uh, the risk uh, and fire hazards and explosions hazards. Why? Because it is, is reducing the likelihood of hazard, uh, reducing the frequency of spark ignition, and is also reducing the severity of hazard because we need. The, bigger energy to init uh, the spark. So, in conclusion, we can say that the new family of products under EcoAtex uh, is legitimating the use in environment uh, with a light risk of explosion. And this is especially true when we have a high temperature and uh, the need of uh, protection against corrosion. That seems Equatex to be the best available technology solution in the market. Equatex is the best complement not only for the ATEX, uh, the ATEX, the filter bags or the anti static filter bags, but in general for all the filter bags. So I have uh, finished this presentation for the moment. So I thank you all. And uh, now, uh, I will, uh, we will come back uh, and I will be glad to answer to some of the questions uh, that you have eventually uh, uh, that you have eventually written in the in the chat pot. Okay, so yeah, we are back. Thank you, uh, Corrado, for the presentation. Now we are going to leave. Uh, uh, one minute to minute to the attendees for uh, writing down their question. We have already seen, uh, we have already seen some uh, some question now, and uh, Corrado, she's going to uh, is going to uh, answer to this question that they just came through. So I, we we can start from uh, the question uh, of uh, Mr. Bruno Alfredo which is asking that the treatment has the characteristic of an electrical insulator or is an electrical conductor such as metal is uh, is something in the middle uh, in some way we can say is a semiconductive uh, uh, material so as i said anti-static or even better static dissipative in our case then uh, we have uh, uh, an other questions of mr carlos which is saying uh, so which is asking uh, if uh, if uh, the best scenarios uh, is uh, to use uh, an anti-static filter with an anti-static bag i say yes this is uh, 
probably not the cheapest solution because of course you you are going to have a filter with special features fabric filter anti-explosion and also cage but this is carrying towards in the direction of less uh, charges accumulated uh, on the surface both of the cages and of the of the of the filter bag so in some ways the, is decreasing the potential which is needed to emit the minimal energy that is needed to emit uh, uh, a, a dust cloud of course there are different conditions that should be accompanied to this uh, the contact in between uh, two conductors like the filter cage and the filter plate for example is always very dangerous also because the two conductors should have the same earth potential and this is rarely seldom happen in some cases this require for the single cage to be put to be grounded for example in a very few cage but that is a very expensive operation so we can do without if we put something in the middle that is the cage in between uh, the steel plate and the filter bed so there is this one uh, question which is uh, economic let's say of economic nature i do appreciate because this was missing in my presentation how expensive is your cage in compare with conventional cages? Not, not, not so much, just a few. Of course, what is the price you will pay for have more security? We know that this price uh, is a price that could face the competition of the market, that could face also the need to have safety at a fair price. And the question is, the question, the answer is, yes, we offer safety at a fair price lifetime lifetime we have references uh, in some way we have references of course we lack an historical let's say accurate analysis of a process that we have tuned uh, just uh, in, in in the last months but uh, as i told you it is based on cat of cataphorasis so we have all the figures about corrosion lifetime for cataphoresis. This was the question of Alim, which I thank you. Both question of Alim, lifetime, and also uh, how much is expensive and antistatic filter uh, cage. So I don't know if there are others. I have to look uh, uh, at others' questions. Uh, the uh, there is, uh, of course, I cannot answer all the questions. Eh? Right now, I will answer some of the questions immediately. Some other I will answer later, depending on how they are complex. If the coating is anti-static, Mr. Varamurti, how the static charge that gets developed inside the bag house will get grounded? There will be, in any case, a differential a difference of potential in between the filter bag and the filter anti-static cage. So they both will have a few charges locally, but in any case, they can move. Uh, the, the fact that the filter bag cage is in contact to the ground will this is slowly dissipated the, the charges that are present on the cages. So that's why the cages is not insulative. That will happen if the cage will be fully insulative, like a painted cage. And uh, then we have uh, one question from Russia, uh, from Mr. Victoras. Uh, does the performance of these cages approved by any notification body? If we are in category three, we don't need the approval of the notification body, even if it's planned to have our approval for simply for a voluntary application and not because we are if we work in zone 22 we are obliged to do and uh, for supply to russian market uh, uh, of course we will need to investigate what's the relative uh, russian body but as i told you this is not uh, this is not necessary uh, according to our informations the fact that nobody did one thing doesn't mean that could not be done I mean, 
if we if the ATEX directive is saying that uh, some certification is voluntary depending on the on the area on the risk we can apply accordingly we are just reading the ATEX directive and apply the ATEX directive it's a quite different story if we go in a, in an area or in a category which is like mining for example completely different story as I said is a light risk and the question is as this type of test of, of cage is also being tested yes it has been tested over the time that's the answer Uh, for the quoting the chance uh, from uh, 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 Jean, uh, Mr. God, I don't know if I pronounce well. Is there any chance for the quoting to peel off? Uh, yeah, of course, but is a, is let's say a very reduced chance to peel off on respect to the most of the uh, external surface treatment. Our treatment is considered one of the best against the peeling off. So I believe I have uh, answer basically of uh, of uh, almost all, and uh, yeah, of course there are sim still some other questions, but uh, our time now is. Uh, if, if you want, Corrado, we can. Uh, if you want, Corrado, we can uh, wait uh, one uh, one more minute. Uh, let's see if is there any other question that's coming in. Is, oh, there is one question, Mr. Giovazzi, because they are I, I, I coming, <laughs> just uh, spoke something about the filter bags as he come to be in a dangerous area, let's say, <laughs> but, uh, because uh, Mr. Giovazzi is asking, I would better understand the influence of this, this treatment on cake formation or removal. Yeah, of course, here we don't have, uh, let's say, exact figures, uh, Mr. Matteo. Uh, what we have noticed is that uh, in the three boiletric scale we can uh, lower the distance in between the cage and the filter bag as i said so this normally is the cause of the uh, big discharges and let's say formation of charges uh, in, on, w w by detaching two different materials when these materials are very far in the scale this uh, uh, charge forming is very high so if we reduce this distance in the three boiletry scale maybe that's the question maybe we can reduce the forming the reforming of of uh, of the charges and by induction charges are also forming by induction so by induction in some way we we can decrease the, the forming of the charge that's the idea on the filter back tissue and bettering the, the slowing the dust cake forming of the filter bag. Of course, we don't have uh, experiments for this because this is going a little bit more over. It's just based on theory. Of course, it's, it is correct to note it because that is as was as happened. I mean, superficial resistivity is quite different. Our superficial resistivity from a steel conductor. Steel conductor stays in ten less four less six and we are at 10 elevated nine so we we have cut on a lot on the big difference of potential from insulative to conductive so i believe uh, that's all we have come to our uh, 45 minutes there are just a few a few time to, to thank you all for your attention i hope this uh, uh, webinar has been interesting for you probably will open other discussions uh, we we have liked to think for a while out of the box about uh, what is considered uh, uh, let's say a stable technology i believe there's a lot of things to do still in future machines that's my opinion and we will present also new things in future i believe uh ecoatex is reliable is economic it is in some way already used what we do not know exactly in the past about cataphoresi was the, the the fact that we can tune with our own plant the resistivity to be the best for our purposes and so that's why we organized this thank you again and uh, we will answer to the question remaining question in separate mail a copy of the webinar i believe emanuele will be available no
Yeah, sure. Um, now we are going to uh, we are going to transfer this uh, webinar on uh, our uh, platform YouTube, uh, social media, and uh, we are gonna send it to all the, the attendees. We're gonna send the newsletter with the with the uh, with the webinar. So nothing is lost. And uh, thank you. I, I take the chance to uh, to thanks all the attendees to this webinar. Hope you like um, hope you like it. And uh, we get back to you with all the questions that, uh, that we were not able to answer by now. Thanks again to all of you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Goro as well. Bye.